We made it! Leader of the seas! Pretty awesome. You're just kids. What the heck? Look at all them big birds, Mom. We're gonna see some shows. We're gonna have some fun. Looking forward to it. the most scandalous gossip around Sea Lion Stadium. Jet here not only has one, but two boyfriends at the park. <laughs> yeah, it's quite scandalous, my goodness, she's proud of it too. She has Tucker, who is 15, and Wilmer, who's 22. When Jet thinks about her friends and family, she can't help but smile. <laughs> no smile today? There we go. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. For my next act, I'm gonna make Jet's head completely disappear. All right, now you see it, and poof! <laughs> now it's gone. Good. And just like that, it's back again. I know. How do we do it? All right, Jet. Here we go. Here's a good one. Hold it. Don't need it. So what Jet has there is the cape line. She also enjoys herring smelt sardine squid long walks on the beach moonlit dinners pina coladas good and cheering with her trainers could you love and trust us good are you sure oh my goodness did you guys hear what monica just said nobody looks worried allow me to translate monica said when she went in the water just now she thinks she saw a shark I don't know if I believe her though. Again, Monica was once a wild sea lion. She knows the dangers of sharks. I think if she saw one here, she'd be so scared she would just faint. <laughs> That's so funny. <gasps> oh no, my goodness, Monica fainted, guys. This is serious. Sharks and killer whales are sea lions' natural predators. So I'm gonna need to check the water and make sure it's safe for Monica. So you guys stay right there. Most importantly, Monica, you stay up here on land where it's safe, okay? Hold right there. I'm gonna check the water and see if I see anything that looks like a shark. I see some fish down there, but I'm not seeing anything that looks like a shark. <laughs> what are you guys pointing at? <gasps> Goodness, is that a black tip reef shark in the water? Wait a minute, where's Monica? Monica, were you in there with the scary shark? Why aren't you smiling? <laughs> oh, goodness. Aren't you scared? Here at Sea Lion Stadium, they're lucky enough to have their very own slide. Good. Let's hear one last round of applause for Monica. Let's go.
So we just saw the dolphin show and we saw the sea lion show. We missed the dolphin boat, not a problem. We still have a lot of shows to go see here. I'm having a really great time. Aubrey's having a great time. Highly recommend this place. The sharks are also trained to be handled, so you'll watch our trainer flip this shark onto their back. That way we can get visuals on their undersides as well. And while this shark is flipped over, if you take a look at the front of their mouths, you'll notice two little things hanging in front. Those are called sensory barbels. These, uh, this species of shark do have smaller eyes and poor eyesight. They rely more on touch and vibration by using those sensory barbels um, to sense vibration and look for food along the sea floor. Now they get their name from the way that they eat, and that's because they use an extremely powerful suction to suck up their favorite kinds of food like crustaceans and mollusks. Mm. Mm. It could be going into his Ooh, or just getting yourself more adjusted in the sun. <laughs> we do enrichment here at the park with our crocodilians as well. Enrichment are things that help promote the animal's natural behaviors, and one form of enrichment is toys. Um, you might have noticed a floating purple ball in Allie's pool, and there's a big floating pickle in Piper's pool. Um, there's not toys out in the wild for these animals to play with, but these can resemble things like play items. When we toss it in for them, sometimes they'll lunge at it. They can even push it around, mouth at it, and even just staring at it is a natural behavior for a crocodilian. If you guys walk around the park today, you'll most likely see the alligators out on land a lot, sunning themselves and warming themselves up. Um, even though the weather feels perfect for us, this is actually very cold for them. Um, if they're not out on land, they could be in their pools because the temperature of the water might be warmer than the air, especially later in the afternoon. You can see we do have that turtle in the white life jacket. Her name is Quasimodo, and she is one of the green turtles that live in this lagoon. Now, Quasi was born at a sea turtle hatchery with a spinal deformity. Sea turtle spines are connected to their shells. It runs all the way along the very center. So if you compare her to the other turtles, you'll notice her shell is very misshapen. It looks like she doesn't have one, but she does. It's just hidden underneath her little life jacket. Um, we can still use this target stick by tapping it at the surface of the water, and you can follow that slapping sound. And it looks like Mortimer popped up right next to him. Like I said, he's another one of our Atlantic loggerheads. And just like Randy, we don't know Morty or Henry's exact ages, but we estimate both of them to also be anywhere over the age of 80. They have extremely powerful crushing types of jaws, excellent for cutting up their favorite types of food, which consists of crustaceans and mollusks. So Randy's primary diet here at the park, you guys can stay right here if you like, um, consists of squid, shrimp, and fish, and the lettuce he gets are just little extra snacks for him. What's up, buddy? Oh, you. Nice. 
So again, you can see how it keeps it nice and low to the ground. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, right? You can imagine another bird or another animal would not be nearly as graceful as Clover is doing this behavior. Nice. You also notice in order to move this barrel forward, he's walking backwards. Now that's not exactly a natural behavior for them. In the wild, they might take one or two steps back to avoid danger or something like that. Um, but a continuous back pedal like this would be pretty rare to see a parent doing. So this was something that he had to learn. Um, but it only took him about four months, and as you can see, he's gotten quite good at it. Now he's a little bit of a show-off. All right. We got one foot and two. Show him how athletic you are, bud. Come on, Oscar. You got it. There we go. Nice. Good boy. All right, Miss Lady. You ready? Three, plus seven. We'll see. Hey guys, we just left the Theater of the Seas, and it was really, really awesome. They have all kinds of shows there, and it's extremely worth the price. The dolphins made me so emotional, I cried. I absolutely love the sea lions, one of my favorite gorgeous. animals. The parrots were really cool. They have all these turtles that they protect, and I like the fact that they train them. Get this, they train them not through like cruelty or anything like that. It's all on what the animals want to do. It's all volunteer basis. I think that is really cool and I love how they treat the animals here. It's fantastic. Definitely worth the price of admission. Go and check it out if you're in the Keys. And also admission, um, if you buy it online, was $41 a piece. I think it's $44 at the gate, but totally worth it. 100% and also you can add on experiences like swimming with the sharks or swimming with the sea turtles or the dolphins or feeding them or whatever a la carte with everything. Yeah, it's awesome.